Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl TJ, and today's video is sponsored by Wes Kills. Don't okay? gain. I haven't worked with them in a long time, so I'm super, super excited because y'all, this week is 250% in density. And guess what? I don't believe I've ever, you know, had that ever. So today's a first. So she's 28 inches. The cap size is a medium. This is the construction overall. The lace is an HD undetectable lace, and this is a body wave texture. Now look at this, y'all. Look at the ends. We're gonna run it back. Look at the ends. Look how how full it is okay so it's thick from the root to the tip and I'm just here for that okay but I did have to go ahead and put it on my mannequin head so y'all can just get that overall effect this hair straight out the package y'all straight out and it's just giving me all types of life we're gonna switch angles and go into the front of the wig just so you guys can see what the lace is giving us she's a 13 by 6 by the way um it's pre-plugged if you guys don't know what you're doing I definitely would advise you to stick to pre-plugged units okay All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and put the unit on my head. I didn't do anything but add, what is it, cream foundation underneath the lace. And I did do a little bit of plucking, just a little bit, because y'all know I'm just extra. Um, I love with uh, HD undetectable units, they make the knots super duper small, okay? So you don't have to bleach them at all. All you need is some type of tinting spray or foundation, and so you're good to go. So I'm just prepping it by putting on, you know, my wax stick. I don't know why I didn't show the part where I hop combed it back just a little bit more because I did. But anyway, we're cutting off the lace, and as you guys can see, it's blending right into my forehead without it being glued down, okay? So that is what I'm here for. All right, guys, so I'm just quickly showing you guys my new blow dryer. And y'all, I love this. Okay, it's small, it's compact, and the tools, like the pieces, um, are magnetic, so it's just easy to, you know, attach. I'm just going in with my Wonder Lace Bonding Adhesive Spray, and y'all, I love this stuff. This is kind of stronger than got to be glue in my personal opinion. And I picked this up when it's hot outside or I'm trying just to have my wig on for a couple of days. Okay. So look how good this blends into my forehead, y'all. This is it. This texture, everything I'm here for. And like I said, I only hot comb the front section of the hair and it's giving me scalp. It's just, it's just doing it. But as you can see, I'm just cleaning up the hairline because like I said, I don't want too much um, lace hanging off because I notice when I have a lot of lace, I see a lot of the line, I see the line of demarcation more noticeable. So I try to cut as much of the lace off as I can. Not too much, but you know, close enough. So we're just going to go ahead and adhere this all the way around. And this looks so good, y'all. <laughs> And I let it sit for like 10 minutes and now we're just gonna go ahead and fix up the part normally I use the light shade and then go back and deepen it with my darker shade but I kind of forgot so if it looks a little yellow it's because it is But anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and do my baby hairs. And I've been trying different techniques for my baby hairs. So I started grabbing more hair and going more into the wig to make the baby hairs. It looks like I'm struggling with those scissors. And that actually is because I am. They kind of dull. So anyway, we're just going to put some of the got to be glue gel and swoop de doop de doop. I try to have like a layered effect when it comes to my baby hairs. I want them to go like shorter, medium, then long so it can swoop in a certain way. So I do go back and, you know, just cut off pieces here and there so it can just swoop perfectly. And like I said, you can use the curling iron or the flat iron to do your baby hairs. And I've been gravitating towards using my comb more to do my baby hairs as well. But now I'm just going to seal it with a little bit of the got to be glue spray and then take my blow dryer once more. And yeah, we're going to move on to the other side. Now, like I said, baby hairs, they, it's going to take you a minute to, 
you know get them down pat now with my baby hairs I always pull out a section and I cut it <laughs> if it's too much honey we're just gonna pick it up and push it back and you know keep on going Cause you don't want your baby hairs to be looking too thick because right here like when i swoop it and then i'm like that does not look realistic at all it's too much hair so that's when you know to go in like girl why yeah i have it clean past my earlobes it's just no it's not given so we're gonna take some of that out and we're gonna re-swoop it and then we're gonna just cut it just a little bit so it won't look so dramatic you know All right, guys, so I'm using my Sleek It. This heat protecting spray protects your hair up until 450 degrees. And that's normally what I use my hot tools on when I am working with my wigs. So I love that. And look at the wig, y'all. I was contemplating on leaving it as is because it was so full, so pretty. But y'all know I always got to be doing something. Always. Um, I'm just going to add some back curls to it. If y'all see my wig lifting in the back, it's because it is because I don't secure the back of my wig down. Um, I don't ever <laughs> but anyway y'all we're just doing some back curls I tried to use my gut to be glue spray to seal in the curls but like I said I wanted a looser one and sometimes I just don't have time to be curling the hair in small sections so I don't hold the hair on the curling wand that long because I'm going for like a loose body wave not nothing tight if you're going for a more tighter look I would say use a smaller barrel but if you're going for a more bigger um looser uh, type of vibe and then use a wider uh, curling iron or curling barrel how well, you guys know what i'm saying so this is pretty much how i do y'all like i said i love the density of this unit y'all it's so thick and it's so full um i haven't washed it or conditioned it yet um as far as shedding i've gotten shedding when i fully detangled it for the first time so it was a few um shedding um as far as tangling i didn't experience tang experience tangling as of yet this hair is 28 inches by the way so not saying it's not gonna tangle at all but y'all so far so good i feel like this style came out super cute um i know i did it before but <laughs> i wanted to try it with some longer hair and it's giving me hollywood okay um i was thinking about doing the other type of um body wave curls but i'm like y'all this is cute look how full it is um y'all i'm in love i'm in love so this is pretty much it y'all i talked the entire video i'm sorry <laughs> so i really hope you guys enjoyed all information in regards to the hair anything i used will be listed in my description section below i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and until my next one your girl will see you later bye guys